Hi guys, I'm Tanya and welcome back to my channel, The Donkey Business. It's been a while since I've posted anything because I've been like busy here and there, traveling, working, etc, etc. I have a lot of exciting stuff coming up. But while I was doing this, I watched a bunch of mini series um, and I am here to recommend them to you guys because they're so good. They're well made, they're of different genres, they're easily available and I am sure that you will love them. So I'm going to be recommending about six to seven mini series that I have watched in the recent past and I hope that you will like them. The first one is called Blackbird. It's a crime drama series based on true events and is available on Apple TV. It's about this guy who has like criminal offense and there is another criminal in another jail which is like pretty brutal and the and the criminal one is sent to criminal two to basically find out where he has hidden a lot of dead bodies and if he manages to do this then he will be out of jail basically he's sent on a secret mission as an undercover criminal to befriend this other criminal who is very dangerous and it is based on true events so it's very interesting to watch it um it's a it's really well made it's dark the acting is amazing oh my god both the actors have really performed well outperformed most of the cast and had like a lot of love hate between them it was very good to see their banter i was hooked to the series and because it's a mini series and not too many seasons and all you know the edit is fast story is fast and you know it's like crisp and nice and you're like hooked and you can finish it in one two days so it's like a perfect binge watch especially for people who love watching like murder mystery crime series you know it's a very well made one it's called blackbird and i highly recommend it the second one is pretty interesting actually it's available on amazon prime and it's called cinema mathe dum tak it you know like as a kid when especially when you come from india you have heard a lot about the great and c great films and you know like a lot has gone behind making these films we've seen it on the news we've seen like hilarious posters on on you know like on roads and everything where we're like which is this film when did it release who is that what is this happening and i always was like interested in them but i never watched it i never like went to the theater to watch it and nobody really spoke about it but i knew about this concept of b grade and c grade films like it exists in india and when i came to know about this show i was very excited and i watched it it's available on amazon prime and is so hilarious interesting intriguing every word that describes an emotion where you're like fully into it is basically about four directors who have come back on screen after like 20 years or something and are directing a film which is a b grade or a c grade movie and the whole series is about how these films worked how did they name it how much money it earned and oh my god it's insane business casting storytelling directing how they made such films in like literally a budget that 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 not even an ad is made you know in these days in that much budget probably they've made like a whole film that earns so much money and gives them profits so the film is about that it's about the whole b grade and c grade industry of india and it's insane it's so big it's so popular it doesn't exist anymore cuz obviously like times have changed but it is pretty interesting after a point it might get a bit boring but if you are a person who loves cinema and loves to like know new things this is the series for you and i highly recommend it the third one is also a very interesting one which is also based on true events it's called drop out and is a hulu original but is available on disney in india it's about this woman who is like an entrepreneur and she comes up with this brilliant idea which i don't want to tell you cuz obviously it will give out a lot of information and she comes up with this brilliant idea that could change the history of the medical industry in the world and the idea is amazing and people are really supporting it and want to make it big and really help her but then is this company also a scam and have like a very weird way of working the whole series is about that it's got a great cast it's got good acting they have all performed very well um the editing is good the uh, it's crisp the storytelling is nice it kept me hooked and i am into like a lot of business entrepreneur shows these days so you'll be having a lot of those recommendations also in this video i have another one that i'm going to be talking about but i really like this one it's called dropout available on disney in india and probably if you have hulu and you're not indian and you are not in india then you can watch it on hulu um 
But yeah, good, very well made one. The next one is called Pam and Tommy. Um, honestly, this series was something that I had been waiting to watch. A lot of people, especially like my generation, probably when we were young, we just knew Pamela Anderson as something that people like. We didn't know about her anything personally because probably we were a bit young when it was her time. I was. And you know, like the only thing I knew about her was very like sexual or you know something not very in like good, and you know stuff like that. Like I knew that she's like a hottie, but like I had like very basic information about her, and that's what that's the thing what guys told me or you know like random people told me, and I didn't have like a very good impression about her because as a kid, whatever like other people tell you, you just believe it. And when this series came out, I was very excited to watch it because I actually wanted to know what went down with her. And this series is basically about her sex tape that went viral with her husband Tommy, and what went behind it. How did it go viral? Um, how what did she go through? How the world saw her? How she was objectified as a woman, but not not that much to Tommy, which was a very unfair. And the series is about that. And honestly, today when I watch it, I feel really bad that I kind of judged her without knowing who she is and what she is and what she went through. But the series is very interesting. It's sad. It's not sad in a way that will make you cry. But as an independent person who has her own thoughts, you would feel a bit unfair for her. And it's a very well-made series. You learn a lot about what went down, what goes behind the whole life of a celebrity, and. How we think that they are the ones who actually did this. I mean, like there are people who would do that, but maybe she didn't, and it's a bit sad to see that. However, it's a very well made one, and I highly recommend it. The next one is called We Crashed. Oh my god, I loved it. I don't know why it's got such less ratings on Rotten Tomatoes. It's been on my list since a while, but I never watched it because. It had low ratings, to be honest. Guilty, but yes. But I really liked it. I watched it very recently. Jared Leto and Anne Hathaway are in it. Watched the series for them. They have done a very good job. They have both acted very, very well. There is literally no complaints about them because they are two beautiful actors. The series is also based on true events and is based on a startup called V Work, which is a global company, and I'm sure that all of us have heard about it. Like even in India and Mumbai, there was V Work everywhere, and I was like, "What is V Work?" Suddenly, everyone is talking about V Work, and I didn't like really get into it because I don't have like a job. But um, now I know what it is. What went down between? So the series is basically about the growth and fall of V Work. About that, it's well made. I can. See that it could get like a bit stretchy in the middle, but that's not an issue at all. I really enjoyed watching it, and I highly recommend it. Watch it for the storytelling, watch it for the acting, and watch it for the edit, and the story. Of course, it's very interesting, especially if you're into business. You will really like it. It's called Be Crashed. And the last one is something actually that I just stumbled upon very randomly. It's like a period drama mini series of four episodes, and each episode is like ninety minutes. Uh, the name of the show is Flowers of the Attic, the origin, and it's like a it's about a family who has like really dark secrets in a time where these things were not very supported, like being gay or like like being friendly with someone who's black or like you know having like like. Sexual desires and stuff like that, and obviously it's a very dark series. It's uh, got good acting, interesting story. It's and it's got everything you need, like all the masala you need in a series. It's got like crime, drama, murder, mystery, family drama, dark secrets, love, passion, everything you need in a series. It's got that in like four episodes, and it's a very well made one. The interesting. part about it is how they have managed to sh- give so much information in such less time like they could have easily made 10 episodes out of this but it's very nice also i discovered a new actor in this series and i'm very excited to watch his work because i've definitely added him in my list and i'm going to watch a lot of his work so be prepared to have a lot of his recommendations but i'll obviously give you the best one the name of this actor is max irons and i really liked him in the series he's done a very good job he has probably outperformed every character and the hatred and everything that he had on his face was really interesting 
and i highly recommend it and let me know which of these have you watched in the comments below which of them have you not watched which of them have you, are you excited to watch or let me know which is your favorite mini series maybe i haven't watched it and i would love to watch it and i will see you very soon thank you so much for watching my video and don't forget to like share subscribe